hello guys welcome to our new video on the orifice sizing in high sys simulation so today uh, from very scratch we are going to uh, discuss about how we can size the orifice in aspen high sys simulation okay let's start and before we start uh, i have just one request uh, please subscribe to our channel for the new videos okay and also like share and comment thank you so let's start so you can see uh, the high sys window open and first of all you need to add the component so i'll add water as component uh, just for that uh, example so then after that you can add the fluid package okay so i have already added a semi steam for the water uh, okay then after adding the fluid package you can enter the simulation environment okay after entering the entering the simulation environment uh, just click on that flow sheet and modify after this model and stream this model palette window will appear just search so so this uh, aspen hydraulic sub flow sheet will appear you just have to click and and drop here it will appear yeah so you can close this model palette now you can maximize this window okay and just click on the show flow sheet after clicking that we will enter in another sub flow sheet where you can in this in this sub flow sheet you can see only the piping component in the palette you cannot see the pumps exchanger or column here okay so uh, first of all i'll take one orifice okay then at the inlet and outlet of that orifice we need to add two pipeline fine okay then simply you can extend this feed stream by pressing control button and you can outlet of this pipe to this orifice it's very simple then orifice outlet to this pipe pipe 101 inlet and this pipe outlet as a product stream right this is very simple before we start uh, sizing of the orifice let's define the inlet uh, conditions let's assume we have a five bar gauge pressure at the inlet of the uh, pipe we have a temperature let's say 30 degree celsius and composition it's pure water so it will do one mole fraction right so we have successfully defined the composition for the inlet stream uh, let's click on this pipe high seas by default uh, give some dimensions to this that pipelines so the inlet diameter is 100 mm and length 100 mm so we will reduce this length to one meter because we just want to see the pressure drop across the orifice not across the uh, pipe so we don't want to extrude the pressure drop across the pipeline so i'll just i'll keep this the inter diameter as it is 100 mm but i'll reduce the length to one meter same for the outlet pipe data one meter okay after doing that i'll specify some dimensions to this orifice i'll keep plate thickness 10 mm but i'll reduce the throat diameter throat diameter is nothing but the uh, the whole diameter of that orifice so i'll make it 10 mm whole diameter so after doing that we need to add some boundary conditions these are the boundary conditions this is inlet and this is product so once you click on that boundary conditions there is one option set system constraint if you click on that you can see you can have a pressure constraint or flow constraint let's say we have a pressure uh, conditions of inlet and outlet of the orifice so if you click on that this flow constraint will disappear automatically okay 
you can only define two constraint let's say we have a pressure at the outlet of the orifice we know the delta p across the orifice or let's say it's 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 let's say this pipe is open to atmosphere let's say zero bar gauge and the ic is saying reverse flow condition needed in product stream then you need to close this stream go to the this is our product stream in the reverse flow we have to add one of the condition let's say vapor fraction is zero because this is water it will not going to uh, vaporize at 30 degrees celsius and even at the uh, atmospheric condition so i'll make it zero okay after making it it's solved so i'll do one thing i'll just make it show table so it will be easy for you guys to understand uh, suppose this is inlet stream 101 and this is the outlet stream of the orifice so you can see at 101 the inlet pressure is 5 bar gauge and at 102 outlet pressure is 8.1 it means almost zero bar gauge okay and temperature is 30 out uh, at the 30.11 you can see at this much delta p and i'll also show table for the orifice you can also add the throat diameter in the table yeah so you can see at inlet pressure at the orifice is 5 bar gauge and outlet pressure is almost 0 bar gauge so this much flow can pass through this orifice 7319 kg per hour of water and these are the orifice details like the pressure drop across the orifice 500 kilopascal with and the throat diameter is 10 mm let's say if we increase the throat diameter what happens? let's see what happens suppose i'll make it 11 you can see when i make it 11 the flow rate increases okay because at the five bar gauge pressure drop the flow will increase because the area is increased yeah you can see uh, suppose i make it 9 mm you can see the flow rate is decreased finance 7 8 in this way you can size the orifice in high seas okay suppose let's say you have uh let me oh suppose you don't know the pressure at the outlet of the orifice and you know the flow so you can have the flow constraint you can remove this pressure from here and suppose you you have a suppose you have a 2000 kg per hour of flow you can see it will automatically give you the pressure at the outlet of the orifice it means at this much flow this much inlet pressure uh, this will be your outlet pressure of the orifice in both way you can do the orifice sizing and you if you want to achieve certain flow rate you can just adjust this throat diameter based on inlet outlet pressure drop okay hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video please like share and comment uh, Okay, thank you so much.